by the last six? I mean, what does that mean about your program? Well, I remember when I got hired almost 20 some odd years ago at UNLV, the coach Knight said, first thing you do for recruiting is, is to do well against the teams that you recruit against. And uh, so I've always kind of remembered that. And so to be successful, uh, you know, in a tournament that has championship at the end of it, you know, you go along all season and it's an invitational and it's a collegiate or whatever, but this says ACC championship. So we're very proud of that. Uh, it's a focal point of where we start every year with what we want to do. So it gives you a lot of confidence going back every year knowing that you've been successful at a place. Now, does this make you guys a little intimidating when you guys walk out there? Or, or? Um, you know, what I hope it does is it, uh, you know, we're, we're taking three guys there for the first time. So, you know, last year was a very experienced group that had been there, and now we've got three guys that have never been there. So what we're trying to sell, uh, effectively or not, is, hey, we just play well there. And that we don't have to defend anything. We don't have to prove we can win there. And we hope that some of those that we're competing against will try to beat us and the golf course, and we'll just try to beat the golf course. So hopefully the edge is, you know, we don't, we don't need to try to win our first one or whatever have we've had enough success that hopefully we can get them relaxed and realize we just got to start playing golf as soon as possible. And what does that mean about your kids? I mean, that determined, putting, keeping the focus there? For well, you know, it's, it, you know, you try to create a culture of pride and you try to create a situation where it doesn't matter whose name's on the jersey, even though we don't have names on our shirts, that it's just Georgia Tech golf and it's what you do. And, you know, you don't build towards winning a tournament this year or next year. It's just what every year is all about. And once you kind of get an undercurrent of that's what's expected, then, then you just go about your business anticipating to have success. And the rest of the week, how is the week fall into place right now? We've been pretty busy. Uh, this is a mandatory uh, scenario out here. And then tomorrow we'll kind of let them do uh, the things that they want to work on to get themselves ready individually. That'll all be different. Some will want to work on their driver. Others will want to putt. So we'll give them tomorrow to kind of do some individual stuff. And uh, Wednesday go to class again and, and get get on a plane and, and head that way. Coach, with all the talent you've had here, why is this the first time on a three, where you're actually taking three this time with you know, some of the legendary golfers in the program and play for you? As far as new guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think that's probably why is, um, you know, it, it's just hard to make the team. And so we graduated three fifth-year guys last year, and so it created a, a pretty big void in our team, which has really been pleasing to watch the success to lose three All-Americans out of five and have freshmen and sophomores jump in there. And so you've got younger guys going to the tournament, and we've just got to figure out how to them not to get to make too big a deal out of it. Mental being so hard, it's a huge part of golf. Is that probably the biggest challenge for you, just kind of getting guys to you know, go down and keep it nerves? Yeah, I think in recruiting, what you try to do is, is find guys that have good fundamentals, that you don't have to fix a lot of stuff, or they don't have to fix a lot of stuff in their golf swing. And at the end of the day, you do a lot of coaching about life. You know, what, what are they going to do tonight? You know, there's lots of places in Atlanta they could spend Monday night and spend Tuesday night. And so you do focus a lot on lifestyle and taking care of your business so that you can be effective in the classroom and, and those kind of things. But there's a lot of, uh, you know, I truly believe that if you don't learn how to think the right way and, and live the right way, trying to play the PGA Tour is very, very difficult. There's just a lot going on. I mean, how do you deal with standing on the first tee at the Masters? That's not physical. It's getting comfortable and... And to win and be successful like where we're headed, I think the team that can stand on the first hole and it's the most relaxed and begin to just start playing rather than thinking about where you're at or what you're doing is, is a big part of, of, of being, being a champion.